Thanks, Gary and John, here with Coach. And Coach, what are your initial thoughts of this game? Well, I mean, we struggled to deal with their interior play. Um, that was their game plan right off the bat, and we just didn't adjust well to it. Now, it settled down as the game went on, but then, you know, different players for them started to step up, um, and we didn't deal with them as well as we needed to. Yeah, and you, I, obviously you got the game tied at one point, and then, you know, that lead started escaping a little bit. Uh, what, what happened with that? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. The, you all were able to tie the game at one point, and then obviously Bucknell escaped with that lead a little bit. Uh, run me through what happened. Well, in terms of some of it was we, we got decent shots, but they didn't call for us, and we went down and they were able to score or foul. Um, I don't know how long the, the scoring drought was there for us um, for a little bit of time, but it was like several, several consecutive baskets where we didn't get the scores that we needed. Mm -hmm. And now one more game against Holy Cross before the tournament and, you know, postseason play. Uh, what are you looking forward to most there? Well, for us, it's still continuing trying to get better um, each practice and each game, and, and we still have a lot of room to grow. And we're guaranteed, obviously, a Holy Cross in, in the first round game in the tournament. And after that, it's all up to us. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. I'm going to be talking okay. to Michaela Andrews now. Michaela, first of all, happy senior day to you. I know it probably didn't end the way you wanted it to, but last game in the Lafayette Threads, walk me through what's one and three ahead right now. Um, no, obviously it sucks to lose, but I think we all, we put it out there, so that's all I could hope for and wish for, and I'm proud of my team, I'm proud of myself. Awesome. Now, like, focusing on a little bit positives right now, take me to the moment at the end of the third quarter when you had that left-handed and one with the defender in your face to bring the game within three with that made field goal. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously we were just trying to, you know, cut the lead down. Um, and I haven't really got to the basket yet, so, you know, I saw an opportunity, I took it, and fortunately it went in and I got the call. Nice. And now, you know, postseason's right around the corner with the Patriot League Women's Championship. What do you all need to do to get ready for that? Yeah, I mean, continuing to look at our mistakes in past games, learning from them, applying them to our next game, and moving forward. All right, well, you heard that from Michaela Andrews and Coach Kia Damon Olson. Back to you, Gary and John. All right, AJ, thank you for a job well done. As we're going to take a look at some of the highlights for today's ball game, and then we'll try to paint the picture for you as far as the rest of the season is concerned. Here's John. Gary, you know, we talked about this game being tied early on, and you heard Coach Kia Damon Olson talk about Bucknell's game plan coming in. Their inside play was really, really good between the two bigs, Sullivan and Sofa Panic. Uh, for us, the story was the senior, uh, Michaela Andrews. She had 22 for the night, but in the end, it was too much Sofa Canik and Sullivan on the inside. Uh, this one was near the end of the first quarter. It started giving Lafayette some life as uh, Haley Smith knocks down a three, and then, of course, the senior, Michaela Andrews, continued her good work offensively. Watch this one against the shot clock. Uh, she was just, she tried to put this team on her back and will this win. And then, uh, once again, Sophie Kanick with that little soft touch off the backboard. Uh, it, uh, this young lady had 15 rebounds. That's Kayla Drummond, the other senior on the Lafayette team, doing her best to keep the team in the game. Abby Antignoli got things going for us here in the third quarter. She had five quick points. She's been in a scoring slump. It looked like she was going to break out of it right there. And there's the pullback by Michaela Andrews, who did such a great job all game long. Really have got to be impressed with the young, talented Bucknell roster. Lots of sophomores, lots of freshmen. Uh, Michaela Andrews doing her best to leave a good memory with them. Uh, she was terrific. How about this young lady? I'll tell you what, Matthews was absolutely, I mean, she was critical this game. She turned out to be the impact player. Uh, she, uh, Blake Matthews seemed to make every big shot down the stretch. Right when Lafayette had the sense they were going to make a move, uh, Blake Matthews was there uh, to knock down a big shot. And, John, there you get a look at the numbers. Lafayette shooting just 15% from beyond the arc. Not all that much better by Bucknell, but Bucknell shot 40%. In the entire ball game, Lafayette at just 36%. And uh, hard to believe Lafayette controlled the rebounds as they did. It just looked like the bigs kind of took over this game until, as you mentioned, uh, uh, inside or outside, Blake Matthews just had a terrific ball game. She, she really did. And, you know, that 40% shooting, uh, Emma Theodorson uh, was only 5 for 19 from the floor. She made big shots, but if you take away that 5 for 19, 
everyone else on this Bucknell roster shot a very, very efficient field goal percentage. So uh, it was just a, you know, listen, uh, uh, Trevor Woodward, Woodruff has done a terrific job up there. He's got a good young team coming back. Lafayette hung with them for the longest time, but it was that drought at 40 to 40 that was the difference in the game. No question about it. They did what they had to do. Lafayette now sitting in that 10th spot. That's not going to change. So if we look at what things would be like today, then Lafayette would either be playing Lehigh or American or Navy, and one of those three in the first round before, should they get through that, they'll probably end up playing Holy Cross, as, as Kia uh, alluded to in the interview. That's it. Lafayette loses this one 56-45. A big thank you to Kia and her staff uh, as this is our last women's game for the 2023-24 season. We appreciate all of their cooperation. Thanks to all of you for watching our women's basketball. We should be back on the air here on Thursday night. Not a guarantee yet as uh, Navy and American are still tied in their basketball game. But Lafayette hopefully will have a two or a three spot and then they will play here on Thursday night. That's it for A.J. Patel, John Leone, for the uh, Astound television team headed up by Tyler Brackfield today. We thank you so much for watching. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.